hello guys this is your girl blanche ingram and you are welcome to the blanche ingram tv show i want us to talk about the issue of yol edoche and me edoche i don't think there is any cameraman who doesn't know about yol edoche when we hear about yol edoche we think about Pet Edoche or Peter Edoche, but we all know him as Pet Edoche, you know. So, May Edoche is the wife of Yol Edoche, and Yol Edoche came on and expressed his mind how he felt about 2023. And later on, May Edoche came also and expressed her mind how she felt about. 2023 but before we go into what these two people said about their 2023 or how they how they um, captioned their 2023 we gonna are gonna just explain a little to those who don't know the story or what has been causing this fight or this fire between may edoche and pet and your Edoche. I almost say pet Edoche. Pet Edoche is so much in my mouth because we knew this man long ago. Like seriously. I remember when we were still uh, stealing uh, CDs to go watch in our friends' houses and so on and so forth. But then this is just bygone. So let's, let me tell you a little about these two. Me Edoche is the wife of Yol Edoche. Sometime back in 2020, 2023, they had a misunderstanding that was caused by another woman called Judy Austin. Meaning, May Edoche and Yo Edoche were happily married until Judy Austin, who was the side chick of Yo Edoche, came into the picture. And when, from the day she came into the picture, things turned upside down between Yol and May, up to the extent that they got separated and Yol on the other side went in with Judy Austin with his side chick. That is one of the reasons why Yol and May Edoche are not living together as husband and wife today, till today. Now, when this second wife i don't know if we should call her second wife or a side chick who later on became a house chick i don't know so when she came between may edoche and yol edoche these two never wanted to live together again as they separated they were later on something happened that break both parties and this was the loss of their son of their first son this guy was not sick nothing was wrong with him he just got up one morning go to play football with his friends and why on the field he slumped and that was all about him so this thing made their relationship to be more 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 problematic so they never wanted to get along again up to the ex so many things happen i don't just want to explain the story because it is very very long so many things happen after the loss of their first son so as any other person would do it when the year is coming to an end so many people want to give their resolutions they want to tell you how they felt about the the year that is ending and they want to tell you how they want their 2024 or the next year to look like this is exactly what yol edoche and me edoche did and this thing that they did sparked another fire between the two of them so when 2023 was getting to an end yol edoche did a post expressing how he felt about that year telling us how the year was a good one the year was one of his best years and so on and so forth let me just read the post to you so you will understand where i am coming from this is your writing 2023 has been my best year so far thank you lord for your blessing and all 
I can't even thank God enough. 2024 will be outstanding. 2023 will be child's play compared to the blessings that will follow me in 2024. And for that, I say thank you, Lord. May your name be praised forever. Amen. 2024 will go harder. Your Edoche. This was the post of this is a post your Edoche did about 2024. And then uh, about 2023, what made the media so hot was the fact that one group of people were asking themselves. Why should 2023 be your Edoche's best year, of which it is in that same year that he lost his son, his first son, with a woman that they have spent almost 20 something years in marriage? Why should that year, of all the years on earth that he has? experience or he has weakness be his best year one group of people said no 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 you didn't do it well at all his write-up was not not just considered it was not considered by this group of people why another group of people came up to say it's okay it is his own way of expressing how he felt in 2023 so no matter the fact Despite the fact that he lost a son, it doesn't mean that he shouldn't appreciate God for being kind to him. Why this other group of people said, no, 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 no matter what, no matter what happens, he should have even acknowledged the fact that he lost a son and that it pained him because he lost this son before even appreciating God for doing whatever God did to him. This is how this group of people, these two group of opposite people were fighting on social media. Hmm. May on the other side had to give, had to express how he, she felt about this same 2023. And she came up with her own post. I read... This is me writing. Dear 2023, you were pregnant on, on the very first day of January. Unknown to anyone what you would deliver. You dared with me in the most uh, ca catastrophic ways. Too many, too many adversities, misfortunes, and the worst of it you stole my flesh and blood, leaving me in the most devastated, miserable, and confused state that I could never have imagined. It makes me cry. Like, seriously. Let's continue. Then she continues. 2023 it is with all that i that is within me i say goodbye to you forever as i embrace the new year 2024 singing my song with a life of thanksgiving a life of forgiveness and a life of commitment to god i pray that god in his in Finite mercy and goodness will bless us all and shield us under his constant love. Affliction and affliction shall never rise in our homes in Jesus' name. One group of people again applaud me for this write up as she recognized the fact that. Oh, because she lost her son. She was not too happy with what 2023 did to her. But because God is God and God can never be man, she has forgotten 
oh, she has moved on from that, even though the pains can never be erased from her heart. So this group of people were like, May really showed that she felt the loss of their son. Some even went as far as saying that Yol, that they suspect that Yol Edoche had a hand in the loss of this boy. <laughs> of course, you know that there must always be people who are for him. And the people who are for him were of the opinion that, no, this man has the right to forget about his lost son or about his gone son once and for all. And that there was no need for him to keep on repeating it again and again and again. So this is what the social media was fighting. And as you know, <laughs> social media in-laws will always be there to put fire. Why some are putting fire, some are trying to quench down the fire. And it continued. Yo, Edoche did not stop there. He did not stop there. To him, he saw what May wrote as an attack. But I want to ask you, watching this video, is it an attack or no? Was May's write up an attack to Yol Edoche or no? Please put what you think in the comment section. Yol Edoche came up with another post. And this was a direct attack to me. <laughs> Let me read. <laughs> Let me read. Yol Edoche wrote, 2023 stole your flesh and blood, but you still had enough time to, to do breast enlargement surgery and tummy talk without your husband's consent. Obviously endorsed by your married boyfriend. Enough of this manipulation. Stop manipulating people on social media to hate me and feel pity for you while you enjoy your life secretly but they don't know they don't know the real you i will not take it in 2024 i have been silenced for too long i have been doing my best i have been doing my best to protect your image while you are doing all you can to destroy my enough <sighs> Yol Edoche directly attacked me. Yol Edoche said, Me cannot even fool the social media that she felt pains or she was in pains because of the loss of their son. That a woman who lost the son and is in pains will not spend time. <laughs> will not spend time doing breast surgery, to have big boobs, and to have flat tummy. And that, a, that May Edoche has always been manipulative. And he has, he, Yol Edoche has been the one trying to protect her. Guys, I want to see what you think in the comment section. Do you really think that May Edoche is manipulative do you really think that may edoche the way we have seen may edoche because let let us just tell you we see what the social media presents to us has may edoche presented to you and i that she is what your edoche is painting her to be put your comments in the comment section on the other side was the right up of your Edoche necessary? Was it necessary for him to do this right of attacking May Edoche? Remember, May Edoche read, wrote her post and didn't call anybody's name. And didn't even direct the post to, uh, to somebody. She didn't direct her post to somebody. But then her husband, I don't know if it is her ex-husband, came and directed his own post to her. Guys, put your comments in the comment section.
And of course, you know, there will still be two school of thought. Why one school of thought was against the fact that your Edoche was not supposed to do that right up because May Edoche has been a nice woman. She has been a calm woman. The family of you Edoche says it all. The family of you Edoche have always loved May. The in all of this, do you think that May Edoche is a bad woman and is manipulative? Put your thoughts in the comment section. Why another school of thought said Yol Edoche was right to express himself. He was right to write, to do the right of attacking May and that May was not supposed to do breast surgery no matter what because May, May is presenting to the public that she is still in pains because she lost a child and so on and so forth. So this is what has been making the social media in-laws not to sleep all this while. Then another group of people, this other group of people are those ones that always go on the ground to read things. They don't just listen to things. They don't just see people talk and conclude. They go on the ground to do their findings. They reason it out. They sit and they calculate it before they bring it out there. This group of people listen to what they said. They said, this post that was made, or oh, this post of Yol Edoche, they are not too sure that all these posts are being done by Yol Edoche. Because if you listen, Yol Edoche was like addressed, the way the post was being addressed, Listen, he was saying, your husband, you did breast enlargement without telling your husband and so on. And to them, they think Judy Austin, the side chick or the other wife of Yol Edoche is the one doing this post. Because people have been saying she is the one handling the social media handles of Yol Edoche. And again, this particular group of people still came out with another thing to convince us, another evidence to convince us that Yol Edoche is not the one making this post. As they said, if Yol Edoche, if a man wants to make a post, the first background that should come to his mind should not be pink. But when a woman wants to make a post or do something, the first thing that comes to her mind is pink because they believe pink is a woman's color. <laughs> so they are telling us that they are convinced that Yol Edoche didn't do this post and that his second wife or his side chick, Judy Austin, is the architect of all these rights of. What do you think in the comment section? Just tell me what you think in the comment section. Do you think that Yol Edoche was right enough to say 2024, 2023 was his best year, even though he lost his first son of 16 years? Do you, or do you think that he was right to have just forgotten about his son like that and forged ahead with his life? And on the side of Mel Edoche, what do you have to tell us about her right up? Was it looking manipulative? Put what you think in the comment section. And finally, and finally, what do you think about the post? Do you think that these posts are being done by Yol Edoche or his second wife, Judy Austin? Guys. That is what has been disturbing the media all this while. Just put your comments in the comment section. And if you come across this video, if you're watching from YouTube, please do subscribe to my channel and share my videos. If you are watching from Facebook, please do follow me and share the videos. Put your comments in the comment section so we can get to chat. See you in our next video. I remain your girl Blanche Ingram. Bye-bye.